Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and next week there's going to be a mountain board comp in Mesa, Arizona at Desert Trails Park. It's being put on by one of the homies I made at Coloradical last spring. This guy right here, Julian Lindsay. Sick rider, sick dude, sick event, sick park, and uh, and sadly I'm not going to be making it. It just wasn't in the cards this year. Which stinks, because I really want it to go. The park looks awesome. Hopefully it becomes a yearly thing so I can hit it up next year. But I love that we're getting more mountain board events here in the States, and I want to leverage good roads to support the scene as much as I possibly can. My, uh, my mountain board deck mold is broke, and I'm working on making a new one, so what can I do in the meantime to help make the event a little bit better? Well, how about some podium bling? In this video, we're going to design, print, cast, and finish some medals to decorate the winners of this competition, which I think is going to be really cool. I don't know that we've ever had any mountain board specific medals or trophies, at least here in the States. So it'll be really cool to get this out there, get it out there for the scene. Let's get into the project. It's going to be a good one. Metal and trophy design is a really interesting area of the design world, and it'll be fun to try my hand at it and see what I can come up with. I wanted a mostly typographic design, so I'm starting in Illustrator. I set the type for the name and year of the event, and the podium positions, and I added some little details to make it a little bit less generic, a little bit more specific to the event, and to mountain boarding. I added a mountain board hub and tire to say, hey, these medals are for our sport. Don't get it confused. And I added a hilly landscape and swapped the knockout of the A for a cactus. I've only been to Arizona once, but the cacti were stunning and memorable, so hopefully this is desert trails enough. With these components designed, I exported them as .dxf files, which I can then bring into Fusion 360. I came up with a general shape for the metals and gave them some dimension. And I debossed my text and graphics. I also added draft angles to make the bucks easier to remove from my casting sand down the line. Fusion has a bit of a harder time doing draft angles or chamfers on these imported shapes, so I went through and manually added some fillets wherever I could. Hopefully this will work out. Once the designs were done, I sent them over to my 3D printer to make myself some bucks. And those are looking pretty dang cool! I hit them with a couple layers of filler primer to even out the layer lines, and this should also help with the whole draft angle thing by rounding over any sharp corners. With my bucks finished, I moved out to the garage to start casting. I'm going to try a one-sided mold this time around, which is new for me. But I'm hoping that since these shapes aren't all that complex, that I can get away with a less complicated mold and make the whole process just a little bit easier. Oh, uh, okay. My sand's too wet. Or too dry. My sand is too dry. That, uh... Looks good otherwise though. Well, I'm having, yeah, okay. Boo, it's too cold for this dude. It is too cold. So I needed to rehydrate my casting sand, which is water-based, which sucked because it was below freezing where I was working and my hands got very cold, very, very cold. Wow, they just came right out and none of the lettering came with them. Well, first looks good anyway. But you can see that those draft angles were great and allow the bucks to be removed from the sand super easily. Actually, they're coming out a little bit too easily. I ended up skipping the baby powder mold release and I don't know if it's a temperature thing or a geometry thing, but that allowed me to get some beautiful, clean mold cavities. As I was working on the molds, I had some aluminum heating up, so I skimmed off the slag and it was time to pour. And because of the temperature, I was worried about the metal flowing, so I heated up the mold with a torch to try to warm them up a bit. Mm -hmm. 
거고요. 오마이. It's like hey, it's way too cold for that. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I don't need these things to be a half inch thick. This is ridiculous. And uh, and my aluminum decided it wanted to be really fat. I was hoping for something a little bit more sleek and I was about ready to give up on the casting and try some other methods to make some cool metals until I flipped these filled castings over. Okay, they look kinda rad. Are these the nice clean edged objects that I had imagined? No. But they do have this cool gold bar wild west sensibility around them. They're not gonna come out perfect, but that doesn't mean they won't be really sick chunks of metal. So I decided to stick with it. I packed another mold, and this time around the sand had already been warmed up by the previous pour, and steam was coming off of it. So hopefully flow would be less of an issue, but even so, I hit the mold with a torch, and I'm hoping that that will help the metal flow and fill the cavity better than it did in my first casting. I also didn't pour all the metals at once to ensure that I had enough aluminum for all three. And yeah, these came out pretty all right. Are they perfect? No. Could they have come out of an abandoned mine somewhere in the desert and are therefore thematically appropriate? I say yes, and I'm the one making the metals, so I'm the only one who gets a vote. My next move was to clean them up a bit on the belt sander. This gave me more flat surfaces and sharp edges and also ensured that the surfaces have a similar surface finish. Once that was done, I did some wet sanding to try to shine them up a bit. And that's the end of the metal work. So I hit them with my old DIY touch mark. I'll have more info on that up on this channel soon. And then the last touch is that I wanna add some enamel paint to help the text and graphics stand out better and to distinguish between first, second, and third place. I've never used enamel paints before, so there was a bit of a learning curve, but I filled in the event text and the wheel emblem with black, and it was looking pretty good. After that, I gave the first, second, and third lettering their traditional blue, red, and green. And once the paint had dried, we're looking at some pretty cool metals. And there we go. I drilled them out, I added some straps, and we've got ourselves a collection of custom mountain board metals. And this is certainly the most decorated I'm ever gonna be, so I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. The event is going to be Saturday, February 26th in Mesa, Arizona at Desert Trails Park. If you want more information, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to get you whatever more information there is, start time. These things are kinda not super formal. 
Mountain boarding is a not very formal sport. That's one of the things I like about it. So if you're in the area or can get to the area and you mountain board, you should check it out. If you wanna just see more of what mountain boarding is and see some homies throw down, you should also check it out. It's really gonna be a blast. I'm, I'm very, very bummed that I'm missing it. Hopefully I can make it next year and buds get some laps in for me, please. As for my adventures in mold design, I think they came up pretty good. Solid, solid B minus. There are a couple more comps coming up this year, so maybe I'll try a crack at it again and I'll be able to improve my skills and make some metals that are a little bit less rough around the edges. I'm also like sore tempted to try to get my hands on a benchtop CNC mill because it would make quick work of projects like this. Could skip the whole casting step, go straight from the computer to the metal. And boy howdy, that would be nice. If that's something you'd like to see, maybe consider joining these folks right here who support over on Patreon. It's their support that allows me to tackle so many of these projects, but it also helps me forward tooling for the kinds of projects that I haven't tackled before. Like when I first started casting. Yeah, support on Patreon's what helped me get the, uh, get the foundry. So, you know, more support means more tools, means more projects, and I can share more tools with you guys when we can make more stuff and it'll be more better. Everybody wins. I think that's how that works. If you want to see me make more medals and tons of other awesome DIY board sports stuff, just go right ahead and subscribe. If you got questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to get to as many of them as I can. And if you want one of these sweet, sweet chunks of metal, get your butt to Arizona next week, throw down some runs, compete with the homies, make some friends. I love having you along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. I got tissues in here. Dude, that's great. I need them. Oh, they've been eaten by mice, and I didn't realize it until it was already at my nose. Gross. Very gross. <laughs> that's going in the blooper reel.